This is a heat kit VF1 VFO. Looks in pretty damn good condition, uh, physically, cosmetically, which is uh, kind of unusual when you figure that uh, these came out back in in the late 50s, early 60s. I bought one for $19.95 and put it together as a kit. Because you're not going to get one for $19.95 any longer. One of the things I used to say about the Heathkit VF1 when I had it back in 1960 is you can throw it in the ocean. It'll never sink. It'll just keep drifting and drifting and drifting. Also kind of reminds me of a bird because they chirp quite a bit. But that's the Heathkit VF1 VFO. Uh, chirping means if you're sending Morse code, it's going to send something like bar ba bar ba bar bar ba bar instead of the normal sound. But let's see how this one works. Uh, and I have a it's hooked up to a DX60 and we'll see how much good current it, it has. And it looks like it's got quite a bit. So let's we'll bring it in on frequency. We're going to lower the drive level here cuz uh, we don't want to burn this thing out. It's still uh, kind of high. There we go. And you see we're pretty close to being on we're pretty close to being on frequency. Okay, we're going to try it on 20 meters. We're around 14.2. Let's just uh, zero it in. Okay, a little loud there. Let me turn that down. Got plenty of grid drive, and we're about uh, right on frequency. We're about right on frequency there. Okay, let's try it on 15 meters. We've got plenty of good drive over here. Let's tune it in. And we've got plenty of good drive. We'll try it on uh, 10 meters next. Okay, we are on 10 meters. And uh, set up to around 28.4. And let's see what we have. Uh, 28.4. Okay, we are on 80 meters now at around 3.7, uh, and let's let's just adjust that so you see that. Okay, I wonder if I get a chirp. Sounds pretty clean to me. Okay, and there is uh, 3,700. And uh, that's the Heathkit VF1 VFO.